Well, good morning, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It is the 10th of May, 2021. Hope uh, all the moms out there had a great Mother's Day. Uh, a little bit chilly here, but uh, again, hope it was a good one wherever you were. Looking at uh, last week's summer here on the world scale here uh, through 8 May, we're getting Saturday on a retail calendar. So big maps versus a year ago temperatures. Here in the U.S., we were about 2.7 warmer than a year ago, 14th colds in 30 years, so a little bit below average. 74% wetter than a year ago, 10th wettest in 36 years, so above average on that front. Up in Canada, warmer, a little bit warmer than last year, but still below average. Uh, Europe was the real cold spot, coldest in 35 years across Europe. Russia, coldest in three years, near average. China, a little bit cooler, um, near average. Uh, Australia finally warmed up. Uh, again, they've been some really cold trends here the last much of the last year, warmest in five years. Uh, India cooled off, coolest in 16. Uh, and Brazil continues their cool, dry trends, coolest in five years, with below average uh, temperatures. World scale, uh, coldest in 10 years. Uh, precip and temp maps versus average on the left here. One thing that's way down is tornadoes. Tornadoes continue to trend way below average, 27% below average, 34% less than last year. So puts it in the bottom 25th percentile of uh, tornadic years. So again, not an active season at all so far this year. Again, had its moments, but uh, again, trending way below average. This week here in the U.S., again, starts off cold, and we got a warming trend here as we go through the week. But uh, Overall, just a little bit warmer than last year. Still third, coldest in 36 years, so a very cold week, similar to last year when it was the coldest in 24 years. Um, but again, a warming trend as we get toward the toward the weekend. 34% drier than a year ago, driest in 21 years. So again, the dry trends continue. Um, wet spots will continue to be in the south, southeast, um, even some snow there in upper elevations of Colorado. Uh, looking at next week here, middle May, 17 through 23 May here, um, uh, warmer trends, again, you can see uh, here in the east and the central U.S., uh, about one degree warmer than last year, warmest in three years, tenth warmest in 36 years, so above average there. Uh, a little bit drier, driest in five years. Uh, we'll see about all that heavy rain in the central central U.S. Models have been doing this quite extensively this year and to no avail. Um, so, again, the, the southern part of this may get the rain, but um, we'll see just how heavy that rain is in the drought-stricken regions of the north central U.S. But uh, overall, this week projected to be the eighth wettest in 36 years. We talked about this a couple months ago, but uh, getting very close to the start of the hurricane season, which is one June. Um, we're still projecting, again, the third most active uh, season in 165 years with uh, 23 names. So we're on the high side of uh, most folks, again, but pretty much everybody's way above average. Um, these are the 21 names here for the 2021 season. Again, don't know if your name's on the list here, but uh, we expect we'll blow past this uh, list of 21, and uh, we'll see, get into the... Uh, the Greek alphabet here, like we did last year, I think we know we're 30 systems. So again, Florida has always been our uh, big concern this year, uh, pretty much uh, all of Florida. I think uh, probably several hurricane landfalls here in Florida. So Florida is a spot to watch here, we believe, here for the 2021 season. Look at the world outlook overall here. Again, this is a two-week aggregate, so uh, coolest trends in the U.S., but again, warming up. Continued cool across Europe. Uh, finally warm up again and again across Russia. Uh, still cool down again in Australia. Uh, precip versus uh, average uh, maps left. Uh, interesting thing here in the night sky here, if they can get a chance to get this rocket launched from uh, uh, Wallops Island, Virginia, uh, they're going to do a sounding of the upper atmosphere and see how gases interact. So you'll see a, be able to see this rocket launch. Uh, typically we can see it from the east coast in the evening ones. Uh, so this will be supposed to be tonight, uh, 8, 8.30 sometime tonight. Uh, again, upper level winds and been an issue, but um, again, something to watch. And then as it uh, releases the gas, uh, you probably may see this be low on the horizon in the East Coast. But uh, Bermuda, for sure, we'll be able to see this nice red glow of the interacting gases in the upper atmosphere. So again, it should be um, sometime this week, hopefully. But again, it's all upper level wind and uh, cloud conditions condition here. So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week. And uh, we will be back here this time next week.